Three friends, Marta, Jacopo, and Federica, are playing a wedding game, in which Marta is about to marry a mannequin that is dressed up as Zac Efron. The game turns into a mess as Marta was supposed to marry Beckham that day. Eleven years later, Marta explains that she has yet to become the complete person that everyone does, and tells everyone to not feel bad for her as the worst is yet to come. She, along with her friends, moves into her big house. Jacopo is gay and has a strong fashion sense. He tends to fight anyone who has a bad taste in fashion. Federica came out to her parents when she was only 13 years old. Federica is also excellent in math and knows how to play poker perfectly, which is her way of earning money as well. Marta loves making a list of everything she does, which sometimes can irritate her friends. She also suffers from coughing fits often. Marta's parents died when she was only three years old. They also left her the house in which she and her friends are currently reciting. Marta is suffering from a rare genetic disease termed mucoviscidosis, because of which she has to rely on medication and a nebulizer. Marta also explains that she is also not experiencing the usual cliché, where a girl with a terminal disease is dating the coolest guy in the world. Marta goes to her usual checkup, and when the doctor doesn't let Jacopo and Federica come with Marta to his office, both of them go against his order. He explains that he would be stopping Marta's therapy, because it is not helping in curing her disease. He also informs her that time is relative for patients with this disease and advises Marta to focus on both her minor and major goals. Marta works as an announcer at a mall, where she usually announces offers and discounts in a cinematic and romantic manner, and because of this, she receives proposals for dates from various men. She places all of the proposals on a board that is set up in front of her desk. While Jacopo and Federica are planning on going to a party, Marta is looking for the right guy that could potentially go out with her. She believes that there's more dignity to being rejected by someone that is way out of her league. Jacopo and Federica drag Marta to the party. At the party, when Jacopo and Federica are just about to tell Marta something important, she comes across a highly attractive and gorgeous man. Marta wastes no time in finding out who the man is. She uses that man's friend and her old acquaintance, Giacomo, to get near to that man. She finds out his name, Arturo Selva. Marta tries to find out more about him but can't proceed further as Arturo has set up a private account online. Marta uses Giacomo once again and this time she tricks her into stealing his phone, so that she can forward every single detail of Arturo to herself. She accidentally drops Giacomo's phone in the toilet and flushes it. Marta spends her night researching more about Arturo's life. She also gushes over his pictures. When she enthusiastically goes to tell Jacopo about Arturo, she finds him sharing a romantic moment with Federica. Witnessing this out of nowhere, Marta suffers from another coughing fit. Even though both of them are not straight, Jacopo and Federica reveal their plan of having a child. They wanted to inform this to Marta at the party, but she dismissed it for Arturo. As all three of them have shared everything with each other since their childhood, Marta uses their excuse to her advantage by telling Jacopo to stalk Arturo for her. Both, Marta and Jacopo, stalk Arturo at the rowing club. When one of the female workers stops both of them from entering, as the club is for members only, Marta uses her illness to emotionally blackmail the worker to give them a tour of the club, when in reality she wants to get close to Arturo. She finds Arturo training rowing a boat. Marta goes through the locker of Arturo and steals his towel and other belongings. She stalks Arturo everywhere he goes. Later that night, Marta packs all of Arturo's stuff she stole and reads more about him. Marta still can't get over the fact that Jacopo and Federica are trying to have a baby. She asks Jacopo the actual reason behind all of this. Jacopo explains that Marta loves having children around and they are having a baby just for Marta's happiness. The next morning, all three of them are on a jog and Jacopo asks Marta if the stalking Arturo is helping her. Arturo happens to be jogging nearby as well. When Marta begins to talk about Arturo devotedly, Arturo appears behind her and all three of them are startled. Arturo tries to acquire the reason behind Marta stalking her. Marta asks him for dinner and if everything doesn't turn out well, she promises to leave him in peace. Arturo agrees and Marta can't get any more excited. She goes to work and announces offers and discounts more romantically this time with a few mistakes as well. Jacopo and Federica help Marta in picking the right dress for her dinner. When Marta arrives at Arturo's house, she comes across Arturo's mother who has no idea who she is. Arturo steps in and introduces Marta to her mother and, later on, to the rest of his family including his friend, Beatrice. When everyone's having dinner, Arturo's mother asks Marta about how she met Arturo. Before she could answer, Arturo intervenes and lies that he noticed Marta a month ago and fell in love with her. After a while, Marta, who didn't like how Arturo lied, begins to tell how she stalked him and stole his belongings sarcastically. She thanks for the dinner and leaves. Arturo tries to apologize, but Marta advises him to just say no to the things he doesn't want to do in the first place. Jacopo and Federica console Marta and assures her that all three of them would never be sad. Marta carries on her usual activities but with less interest. While she's in her office, she receives apology notes from Arturo. While she is initially hesitant in accepting his apology, Arturo's charms are enough for Marta in accepting the apology and setting up a dinner that night. Arturo takes Marta to a fancy restaurant. While they wait for their meal, Marta proposes that they should play a game. Both of them would ask each other five questions, 
and the rule is that no one would lie with the exception of a joker lie, only if the question gets personal. When it's Archero's turn, he asks Marta to make a wish. She wishes her parents to be still alive, but she soon changes her answer and wishes for a bologna sandwich. Archero agrees and both of them head to the mall where Marta works. She is able to get it open thanks to her friend who is a security guard. She uses her romantic announcement skills to guide Archero to grab all of the right stuff for their dinner. While they are having dinner, Marta questions Archero if he has admitted love for someone. Archero says no, which is also the reason he broke up with his girlfriend last summer. Archero questions Marta about where she plans on seeing her by the age of 60. Marta states that she sees herself happily married to an English author, who would have proposed to her many years ago on a gondola ride. They reach back to Marta's home and both of them ask their last question. Marta asks him if she's the ugliest girl he has ever been with to which Archero disapproves. Archero asks his last question regarding Marta's expectation of the dinner, to which Marta states that it was more than what she was expecting. Just as Marta is about to leave, Archero comes forward and kisses Marta. Never having thought of something happening like this, an elated Marta invites Archero upstairs. Things begin to favor Marta even more, as she experiences a romantic moment with Archero. The next morning, both of them are pleased with the night they had spent. Archero reaches home and overhears a conversation between his parents. His mother believes that he is still immature and his actions are not pleasing her in any way. Having desires of spending more time with Marta, he texts her if she's willing to go out with him that night. Marta takes him to a karaoke place where she wishes for Archero to sing. Archero doesn't want to take part in it as he hates karaoke. As Marta takes her medication, she hears Archero singing beautifully on stage. Both of them have grown close to each other and they begin to spend more lovely time together. But while doing so, Archero observes Marta's coughing fits and asks her to get them checked. While taking a blood test, Marta is let know by Federica that she at some point would have to tell Archero about her disease. The doctor says that Marta is doing quite well but she would always be at risk of pseudomonas. Archero surprises Marta by taking her to a beautiful palace-like place. She further gets amazed when she finds out that Archero has planned a gondola ride for her. While they are on the boat, Marta is preparing to tell him about her disease, but before she could, Archero proposes that they should play their game. Archero questions her if she trusts him, to which Marta responds that she does. Archero tells her that she has to believe that he is in love with her. A shocked Marta begins to suffer from another coughing fit, which leads to her falling inside the lake. Marta immediately leaves the place without telling Archero. Federica and Jacopo are informed that Marta has been admitted to the hospital, and is in a highly critical situation. When Marta does gain consciousness, she is informed that she's still safe from pseudomonas, but her health is deteriorating. Both Federica and Jacopo are mad at Marta for risking her life, but all Marta cares about is making moments, even if it leads to her living a short life. Federica still pushes for the idea of Marta telling Archero about her disease. Marta believes that Archero doesn't have to know about it because she doesn't want him to grieve after she's dead. When Federica and Jacopo leave Marta and the doctor alone, Marta finds the courage to finally ask him how much time she actually has left. The doctor lets her know that her condition is serious and only a transplant could save her now, which itself is difficult as it's rare to find the right donor. Marta and the rest of her friends get close to each other, as always, in this tough time, and during this period, Marta has been avoiding contact with Archero, who has been trying to reach out to her ever since their small incident. After she is discharged from the hospital, Archero appears in front of Marta's house. Archero is mad at Marta as she has been avoiding him for a long time now. Marta, who still doesn't want to disclose her illness, brushes him off with the excuse that they both are living a completely different life, and they could never be together as Marta thought that their relationship would be a casual thing. A devastated Archero goes to the bar, where Beatrice tries to get romantic with him. A friend of Archero captures a video of them kissing and posts it online. Archero doesn't proceed further with Beatrice as he still has feelings for his newly found love, Marta. Archero returns home and informs his mother that he has broken up with Marta. His mother is relieved that he has left someone that doesn't fit their lifestyle. Archero gets upset by this and tells her that he was given a life he didn't choose. His mother tells him that Archero's grandfather was against her marriage and kicked her out of the house when she didn't leave Archero's father. His mother says that her father still ended up attending her wedding secretly, indicating that he was proud of her. Archero's mother tells him that everyone has a choice, which gives Archero hope of getting Marta back. Beatrice notices Marta coming out of the hospital, finding out that she's suffering from a horrible disease. She goes to tell her that the video she saw of Archero kissing her wasn't the true picture of what happened at the bar. She says that Archero left her as soon as possible because he still loves Marta. She ends by saying that she's envious of Marta, because Marta has Archero now and she doesn't. After giving everything a thought, Federica and Jacopo decide not to have a baby for the time being. Marta heads to the rowing club and finds Archero taking a shower. She apologizes to him the same way he apologized to her, which is by sliding notes from underneath the door. Just as she declares her love for him, Archero comes out and shares a passionate kiss with her. Marta lets him know that she didn't want to reveal her illness to him because that would have strained their relationship. 
Archero still doesn't care as he now wants to spend his life with her. Archero returns home and emotionally hugs his mother to resolve their relationship problems as well. Archero has done a huge research and has found a doctor who might have a cure for Marta's disease. Marta is in awe of Archero, as he went out of his way to help her. Both of them happily marry, completing Marta's mission of finding the right guy. 